I'll get that. Here's our fancy stand. Fancy. Fancy, fancy. You gotta get pretty now. Let's We're gonna pretty. just chime in at the appropriate right. time. Yeah, usually do. Yeah, we got the peanut gallery. We're yeah. at Jimmy's house today <clears throat> because I track them down. I'm telling track you. Track them down. And they, Samantha gave us a very good dinner. It was excellent. Oh. Um, today is Tuesday, November 23rd. It's time for our tag. It's called Would You Rather. As always, I'm tagging Joan over at Joan's Point and Plate and Doug and Kim. Not Kim. Jeez. Oh, back off. <laughs> back Where off. are you going? <laughs> tagging <laughs> my people. <laughs> um, Valerie Reese and her husband Steve. I'm tagging your mouse friend. For and you. I will tag Kim from a girl in her phone and Mr. Smooth. And we're hoping Mr. Smooth is feeling better because he yes. wasn't on last yes, week. Yes, he wasn't on. And I guess he's, you know, David, if you're still sick, go to the doctor's. That's not I can't good. complain because I don't go to the doctor. I, I know, I but really they, she said he's got really bad bronchitis. That's bad. Yeah, that you should go to the doctor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we got the peanut gallery here, too. So this is a would you rather tag. Okay. <clears throat> would you rather shop on Black Friday or Cyber Monday? <laughs> well, uh, no clue on Cyber Monday. <laughs> <So> <laughs> Black Friday it is. <laughs> I am not computer savvy. I would do uh, Cyber Monday. I... My big, what was our biggest pet peeve when we worked at Montgomery Wards? The orders. That well, the people that well, showed up. Yeah, like the la it. last minute people. Well, that, but in the the day after Thanksgiving on Black Friday. Oh, yeah, they were crazy. You couldn't find a parking spot, you know, and then people got mad. You worked there, you, and you worked park. there, and you couldn't find a parking spot, and then they would get mad at you when you were going in the door. Yeah, they're not open yet. Yeah, and, then, no. and I'd use language that you. Were, you know. <laughs> and then it was all to get some crappy little free gift. Yeah, it was like <laughs> some stupid. Although little Riley, little did, Riley liked that little, yes. that little green thing. And then when I got transferred to the Montgomery Wards at uh, Eastland, when I went to the stock room, they had a whole mess of them. So I brought a whole bunch home so that whenever, because Riley ripped the, he ripped the crap out of those. He really did. But they were like a little green dinosaur, weren't they? Wasn't it a dinosaur? Yeah, yeah. A little green dinosaur. But, but he didn't have to stand in line like he that. He didn't. Uh, number two, would you rather have your pumpkin pie with whipped cream or a hot apple pie with vanilla ice cream? Apple pie with vanilla ice cream. Yeah, I don't eat pumpkin. No pumpkin anything. No. No, no I don't. Mm -mm. No. Me and you will eat pumpkin. And I had a Grinch face on that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you did. Um, no, I wouldn't mind the whipped cream, but not the pumpkin pie. No. Well, then you're going with the apple pie. I'm going with the, with the apple pie with the vanilla ice cream. Although, you know, I'm not a really big apple pie fan. but I'm I not do. a pie fan at all. But oh, that, banana would, cream pie. I like a oh. banana cream pie. And the only apple pie I really do kind of like is the, and I know that's not really probably a real apple pie, is don't McDonald's. Don't say hostess. No, oh. McDonald's. I was going to say, <laughs> don't say hostess because that's not a pie. No, the McDonald's. I like the McDonald's uh, apple pies. But they must want to get rid of them because they used to, well, I don't know, because they haven't been to McDonald's They'd in a long time. They'd always ask if you wanted one. Right, but then it was two for a dollar. So it was like, why not? Yeah, because it tastes like crap. No, I love those. Those are really good. Uh, number three, would you rather eat sweet potatoes with marshmallows on it or sweet potatoes with brown sugar and pecans? Not a all fan of sweet. No, all of no. that. I put all of that in there. I don't like sweet potatoes. <laughs> I, not at all. I don't like... Yeah. I, if I had to pick, because I just like a plain, ordinary sweet potato with nothing on it, just a sweet potato that's by itself. I like marshmallows, but I don't like them when they're on that. It's just... I'd say, what is it, brown sugar and... Brown sugar and pecans. I would See, say I like, brown sugar and pecans. I like Maybe that'll sugar. drown out what the potato tastes like. That's what I'm afraid of. That's why I wouldn't want to eat it, because yeah, it would make the potatoes so sweet. sugar and the pecan to leave no. the potato. Yeah, no, not that. Not. Uh, number four, would you rather spend Thanksgiving or Christmas alone? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, Christmas. I think we spent Christmas alone last year, didn't we? Or did we come to your house on Christmas? No, you came to our house. Was that? I thought it was Christmas Eve we came to your house. What day? I don't remember. It was one of the days. No, it was Christmas Day. Was it Christmas Day? We broke the law because we weren't supposed to get together. Because that's when they're telling everybody to stay home. Oh, that was two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Was, I would rather spend uh, Thanksgiving alone because, yeah. you know, it's not a... Uh, number five, would you rather cook the entire Thanksgiving meal or do all the dishes by yourself? Cook. I'll do all the dishes by myself. 
Oh no, I would. No, the rule. The rule oh, is whoever cooks doesn't have to do the dishes. That is. So, I would. I would do the entire Thanksgiving meal myself, which I think I pretty you much basically do. do. Because I was I know, say you people, do anyway. I know, so I'm, very, I'm very kind of anal because people come in the kitchen and want to help, but the way they, I think they can help is not coming into I the kitchen. I think you can say that. Yes, I can. Why? I don't know. Standards of practice, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing that out there. I'm sorry, um, you knew what standards and practices um, are. Oh. I'm the standard and practices guy on this yeah. channel. Oh. Although he swears every once in a no, while. No, I don't. I no. never swear. Oh, on you this. did the one time because I said language. Not our Jim. Yes. One I time. mean, I'm not saying I don't swear. I swear, but. And I don't swear. <laughs> what do you think I learned? <laughs> okay, we'll let Jim tell yeah, the go ahead. story. Tell, well, tell the story about my first word. <laughs> no, about, yeah. about Danny with the. Uh, well, first, when Jimmy was learning how to talk, she was so. I came home from work and she was so proud. And she said, Jimmy learned a half a word today. And I said, a half a word? And she goes, yeah, mother. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I wasn't proud. <laughs> but my, I told my dad that I don't swear in front of the kids. And I rarely do it to this day. And they're almost in their 50s. <laughs> One of them is at least. Calm down. I'm not but, yet. Uh, anyways, my dad didn't believe me, and Danny was sitting there. He was about five or six at the time. And my dad asked Danny, he says, How many times have you heard your dad swear? And Danny says, mm, Maybe four times. And my dad says, Okay, that's good. I says, yeah, now ask him, how many times have you heard your mother swear? So we ask him, how many times have you heard your mother swear? And he goes, oh, about 4,000. <laughs> Very accurate. Yes. I did. My kids learned a lot of words. They really did, which I'm not proud of. I'm surprised none of them were sailors. <laughs> My rule was always, as long as they used it correctly in a sentence, I'm not going to Well, David did his... David did. David did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not going to say what he said, but, oh, uh. but he used it in the proper... <laughs> he did. Yeah. He was... dropped his flashcards, and then he went... Yeah, <laughs> he, he went on a rant. So then he can't say that his dad never swore because he was only, what, three or four? He was three or four. I didn't swear in front of him when he was that young, though. Well, I don't know where he picked it up. He surely didn't pick it up from me. Um, no. He, he used the Lord's name in vain. Yeah, which was not me. No. That was his mother. That could have been. <laughs> she used that all the time. But, uh, um, <clears throat> no, and he said it like. He did, just casually. <laughs> like, <laughs> like this was. Let's go to the store. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was shocking to say the least. Um, oh, that reminds me too of the one time when we were watching David and they were going to bring him for pictures and. The, oh, <laughs> 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 got this all planned out. His outfit went to the store, bought it, like got all. Okay, we're going to go. You did swear that day when you came. I out. did swear. <laughs> I was pissed. So we had. We had the picture all lined up. We're like, oh, we're going to go, whatever. You went out to like eat, a, you out out to eat, eat and you left David with us. And I'm like, hey, can you watch David? We're just going to go out to eat. We came back, and he had scar. a scar just ripped on his whole head, like this wide, <laughs> all the way up like a scab. And I'm like, what in the... <laughs> Riley jumped over Riley him. Riley jumped over him and just... <laughs> and his nails caught yeah. his head. Go. It stayed there for. I'm surprised he still doesn't have a. Yeah, we snap. canceled those pictures because we're paying big money for that. We did snap a picture though. Yes. I don't know where it is, but we do have. We a used to have it in a frame. I know. I think I gave it to David when he moved back home. Um. Anyway, we took too long on that one. Number <laughs> Shocking. S number six. Would you rather uh, set the kids' table with all the fine china and stemware, or have someone else cook your meal that you don't even know? Your entire your Thanksgiving meal. Oh, if someone cooked my meal, then I don't know. I would, uh, I'd let the kids sit with the fine china. I think that, I think they'd be all right. They, they have my Christmas china at Christmas time. 
ever since they were little. You just got to watch Oliver. He throws everything away. He throws everything in the garbage. That's, <laughs> That's how he true. cleans. I think, where did that fork? Why don't we have that many forks? And then I look through the garbage. I always look through the garbage after <laughs> Oliver leaves. Uh, number seven, would you rather replace your Thanksgiving dinner with Super Bowl appetizers or Christmas breakfast foods? Ooh, Christmas breakfast foods. No, I would say Super Bowl appetizers if I'm going to replace it. No. <laughs> number eight. Oh, man, she's laughing already. I already what? know what the answer is for me. Would you rather burn the dinner rolls? <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> or forget the sugar in a pie you baked? Forget the sugar. <laughs> See, I pride myself as being a pretty good she cook. Is. I am a Very pretty good, good cook. cook. I'm really good at timing. I can get everything on the table hot. Not this day. At the same time. <laughs> but I cannot make a dinner roll to save my life. I don't I I baby them. I put the all They look them. awesome on the top. It looks like, oh look at this, and then you pick it up and you're like so black. black. <laughs> it's like oh you like even, cut the bottom off. <laughs> I've even tried like turning them over at a certain point. But, uh, and then my sister, the one time, we wish she would have forgot the sugar because she made an apple pie. Yeah, with the salt. Yeah, she put a quarter cup of oh. salt in instead of a quarter cup of teaspoon, a t quarter teaspoon of salt. She put a quarter cup of salt. We took a bite of that. I was like, <laughs> oh. But, uh, Sue. Sue. I would, uh, I guess I'm going to go with burn the dinner rolls. <laughs> but You're I going to do it anyways. I'm going to do it anyway. It's what I'm going to do. Uh, number nine, would you rather eat small portions of everything you like or load up on your favorites that are only served on special occasions? Uh -huh. Like, would you rather have like a little bit of this and a little bit of that? Or would you say, oh, I love like cinnamon roll. I love a cinnamon roll. I'm going to have all cinnamon roll. So I can pick potatoes? You could pick potatoes. No, it's that's something, that's, <laughs> only potatoes served, all day. <laughs> something just... that's only served on special occasions. We have pretty much always eat it. We don't have like... Hey, every foods. time you have dinner meat, it's a special occasion. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> See how lucky you are? <laughs> yeah. Jeez, man. Hashtag blessed. Yeah. I would say eat small portions of anything then if it's something that you only yeah. get once in a while. Yeah, because I, we don't have anything that's just served on a special occasion, really. Burnt biscuits. Well, that's, that's just, <laughs> always, that's that's just all, that's all the time. I would say I would pick small portions of everything I like. And then what do you eat? Oh, that just is a, it's not part of the question, but I'm just kind of, do you eat your favorite thing of the small portion first or last? A little first and then save the rest for last. Oh, I save it all for the end. Like even when I have my chuckles, Ooh. those little red chuckles are my favorite. The green ones are the best ones. Oh, the red ones are. That's the last one I'm going to eat. The black, black one's the last one I'm going to eat. No, but I'm like this one who thinks I like all black licorice. Every uh, Easter, all I get is black jelly beans and black licorice. But I hate it. <laughs> it took me many Oh, years. you love this. No, I don't. <laughs> it took me many, many years to figure it out. And I went out of my way looking for like a bag of black jelly beans. Thanks. Anyway. And then you got to play the, oh, thanks. <laughs> you, you like those? And I, you know, I'm trying, no. <laughs> Been waiting all year. All right, and number ten is: um, Would you rather give the Thanksgiving toast or say the grace? Toast. Grace. I say the grace all the time, so I would rather do that. Well, that's our. Well, we didn't do bad. Thirteen minutes. That ain't bad. Well, it's not too bad. Usually, for us. we're up at eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, that's true. Once again, we're taking Doug and Joan over at Jones Play Plate, and Stephen Val at Valerie Reese. Don't jump on my parade here. Take your time. Now you can say who you want to. Kim. I'm a girl on her phone. I'm Mr. Smooth. And we do like that you call him Mr. Smooth on your videos. <laughs> she doesn't even call him David anymore. Nope, it's Mr. Smooth. It's Mr. Smooth. <laughs> but David, we're hoping you feel better. Feel better. Like. Comment. Subscribe. Share. We'll see you guys. Yeah.